Okay, Gemini, it's Faith from Fire, Sire, and Tarot. Hope everybody is doing somewhat well. I hope you're doing fabulous, actually. At least better than I've been doing the last couple of months. But, and I know I'm late again with the March reads. I understand your frustration. I totally get it because I'm just as frustrated with my life as, as you are at this point. So, but enough about that. We're just going to hop right into it. See if we can get a flyer. I'm going to go ahead and tip down. While I'm tipping down, if you are new here and you felt compelled to click on this video, I'm sure there's a reason for it. Six of Wands reversed. Mm. I'm catching a feeling that didn't go as planned. Um, anything you need to know about this video will be in the description. Disclaimers. I'm not responsible if you make a decision that's life-altering based on this reading. It's your life, not mine. I'm just throwing down cards and having a good time, guys. So... That being said, also in the description is where you can find us on social media, as well as our email address. If you would like to reach out for a personal reading, I only have four or five spots available every month just because of the craziness and insanity outside of my tarot channel and in my regular everyday life. So enough about that. Gemini, what the hell is going on? Oh, shoot. Okay. That's fabulous. Why the anxiety about it? Why the sleepless nights? Why the worry? Why are you losing sleep? That's a fat, happy king right there. Just throwing that out there. He's holding a cake. He's got a pentacle above his head. With the other hand, he's holding a glass of wine. Surrounded by farm animals. Sitting in front of a big old house. That's a fat, happy king right there. Nothing to complain about at the end of the day. So, why the anxiety? Because something didn't go as planned? Let's catch the energy of the person you're dealing with. That's a whole lot of cards, but we're going to take them. Ten of Swords reversed. Page of Pentacles. Oh, wow. Three of Pentacles. High Priestess reversed. Oh. I feel like somebody may be holding a little bit of a grudge against you, Gemini. I'm not sure why. We'll delve deeper into it. I think they may be a little bit dissatisfied about being put in the friend zone. Could well possibly be. I see a wounded ego and um, things and offers being held back. Pain not ending. Really? Seven shuffles. Okay. Yeah, they're not over it. So not over it. Emperor reversed. 
that's one pissed off individual, by the way. Pissed off mostly because he had to humble himself or possibly, yeah, Knight of Wands under that. Knight of Pentacles under that. Six of Cups reversed under that. Oh my gosh. But the Four of Wands under that. Hmm. defensiveness, withholding, bad blood, but they don't get this until they get past all this. So, so, we'll just go with, for now, they're not over it. out why you're anxious or losing sleep because you have absolutely no intention of coming back together with this person. Ten of Swords, Queen of Wands reversed. Yeah, you just soon leave this alone. You're ending the pain while they're just pissed off. Okay. Eight of Wands. Why the Eight of Wands? Ace of Cups. Communication, the ignoring of a cup. Two of Swords, an ability to make a logical or informed decision. Page of Pentacles again at the bottom of the deck. Withholding. That did not go as planned, did it? I think you reached out and it didn't go as planned. They moved on. Why the Eight of Cups? Why the Eight of Cups? Eight of Wands. Communication, forward movement. Whoa! I dropped y'all. You flew out. You flipped. There we go. Settles that. Started something new elsewhere. Moved on. At least that's how you feel. Or it was best that you move on, one of the two. Maybe they broke your heart. Or it broke your heart to have to move on. Maybe that's why it's, there's a sense of anxiety. Sometimes picking up that tenth sword and letting something end is difficult. Possibly because they haven't let it end. On an energetic level, you're still tied. Hmm. Why the five of wands reversed for what you think of them? Why the five of wands reversed for what Gemini thinks of the other person involved? reversed, Nine of Swords reversed. Mm. 
I don't even think you want to engage with this person. It just causes too much stress. Avoidance of conflict. It is best to avoid conflict with this person. Six of Wands. They stick out like a sore thumb in your existence. Five of Wands upright. Every time they, it, it just, it ends in conflict. You just want to avoid conflict and stress. Because every time, shit just goes awry and you just, you just want to avoid conflict. You have absolutely no intention. I shouldn't clarify it, but I'm gonna. Why the Two of Cups reversed? The Devil and the Eight of Pentacles reversed. You're, you're, this is toxic as F, and you know it. Why the devil? Full reverse. You don't trust it. This is a toxic energetic tie. You don't trust this person. You don't want to engage with this person. You have absolutely no intention of putting any work into this. But the tie that binds remains. Give me one more. Three of Wands. Just flew out. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Why the wait? Why the Three of Wands? Why the Three of Wands? King of Wands. forward movement. Strength at the bottom of the deck. It's a withholding. Until they come out of this energy of being and feeling defeated and being angry, you're energetically tied. Strange. Whoa, I feel... We got a retrograde coming up? This just got real personal real quick. But we're going to roll with it. There's an energetic tie here. I'm going to go over this last. Why the star reversed for them? Four swords. They're healing. They are still in rest mode. They are processing the emotions that go along with this. I'm not going to dig into that any further. Why karma reversed for how they feel about Gemini? Why karma reversed? Hierophant reversed. Nine of Cups reversed. Oh, the thought of you does not bring happiness or joy, does it? Nope. 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 This just feels like another connection that didn't work out. They're resentful. They're angry. They're wounded. Ten of Pentacles reversed. I'm not beating that dead horse anymore. Yeah, it did not work out. Didn't come together. It didn't have the fairy tale ending. Why the Five of Wands for what do they think of Gemini? Sun reversed. It's conflict. The sun does not shine. the world this didn't end well did it I don't think this ended well eight of swords the thought of you puts them in a prison of what ifs eight of cups at the bottom of the deck eight of cups at the bottom of the deck
Wow. All right. Their intentions toward you is the Two of Pentacles. Talk to me about the Two of Pentacles. It's the regaining of balance. Lovers reversed injustice. Okay. Could be a legal matter for some of you. Judgment reversed. King of Cups. Ten of Cups reversed. Page of Wands, thrown in the towel, Nine of Wands reversed, bottom of the deck. Wow. They're going to bury this. They're going to regain their balance and accept it for the unhappy ending that it is and just move forward. They'll forever hold a cup for you. I don't think they'll ever show it or acknowledge it because they're still pretty wounded. But this is just... This is just the end all be all. Two of Cups reversed, Two of Pentacles in the upright. This is just the end all be all. Might watch from a distance. Probably never reach out. <laughs> it's like type the text, but never hit the send button. All right, talk to me about the King of Pentacles for Gemini. Talk to me about the King of Pentacles for Gemini. Six of Swords. Yeah, moving on, moving forward, crossing the uh, crossing the Rapid River there. Temperance reversed. Nine of Wands reversed at the bottom of the deck. You're gonna do you. Interacting with this person causes way too much turbulence on that river. And you're just enjoying the journey and working on you. Nice energy to be in, gang. Nice energy to be in. Three of Cups reversed and not dealing with this anymore. Not dealing with this. Forever wondering, moon at the bottom of the deck. Forever wondering. Unanswered questions shall remain unanswered. Why the Six of Pentacles? Confusion. Seven of Cups reversed. Nine of Wands reversed. Throwing in the towel. Two of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Possibly they're approaching something new. Knight of Wands reversed. Two of Wands. Letting go of the rod and moving on. You reap what you sow. So I feel like eventually the energy will release. But they got to stop watching from afar. They have to stop lulling over the what if I'd have done this or what if I'd have done that. I'm going to look under here. Why the hell you're so anxious? Okay, you're this is this is crazy. Queen of Cups, you still hold a cup for them. You still care. You still care. But it had to come to an end because I think it was it was meant to. You had to make a very difficult decision to cause turbulence in this relationship. This was not an easy you would start at the crossroads about this for a while. Pop, possibly this person was slightly manipulative. Page of Swords. Page of Swords. You had to tell them something they didn't want to hear. I think you're a little anxious about the what-ifs yourself because you still care. But sometimes you have to care enough to let someone go. And you have to love yourself enough to let something come to an end that is toxic and that is not good for you. You have to acknowledge that. All right, let's get a wisdom from a Gemini, babies. Whoa. Okay, hi. It hit the floor. Might be important. Unfinished symphony. Oh, wow. Number 10. 
10 is endings and new beginnings, baby. Number 10. Unfinished business. An incomplete lesson. Lack of closure. The need to make amends. Okay, Gemini, we're going to roll with it. This is a time to tie up loose ends as you near the completion of a cycle or project and mastery of a lesson or skill. Before you can move forward, it's important that you come to terms with where you are now. Practice radical acceptance. Take inventory so that emotional and psychological closure can occur and the answers you seek will be found. You can't move forward if you are leaving things unfinished. Reflect on what is past so that the symphony can finally end on a high note. It, it's talking to you, by the way. This totally fits. Holy cow. Moving on is difficult when love lingers. Things are left unsaid. And you haven't had the opportunity for closure in your relationship and in your heart. You can still be bound up in relationships when closure is denied you. It's important to achieve this for yourself. Write a letter, make that call, or have that conversation over a cup of coffee. For peace of mind, accept matters as they are. Make amends if need be, and declare your feelings, even if only to yourself. Be clear about what was left unresolved, and close the door on the past so that you can reset, wow, so that you can set yourself free. Only then can new love blossom. Oh my gosh, Gemini. The universe gave you your card today. I told you, hit the floor. It's probably important. All right, Gemini, again, I am so sorry for the delay in the March readings. I'm going to try to do better next month. I guarantee nothing, though, because it's just a spiraling, out-of-control tornado of chaos right now. But know that you are loved. Be blessed. I send you off with peace, love, and light. And I will catch you next time, whenever that may be. Take care.